hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Demetria if you are new here and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back and in today's video I'm going to be sharing some items that I am in love with and I cannot put down I have not put down <laughs> and I'm excited for this video so if you guys are interested in some of the items that I am loving then just keep watching so I broke this video down in four categories because I didn't want the video to be crazy long and I'm a product junkie so I can talk all day about products. These are some of my favorite areas. I broke it down with fragrances, um, makeup, particularly the complexion, skincare, and body care. So we're going to jump right into it because I have a lot of items to talk about and I don't want this video to be crazy crazy long. Whenever I go out and I go to like Sephora, I'm always in the fragrance section. So that's what we're going to start with. So one of the fragrance I talked about recently, um, and the other two is new. I talked about this perfume from, um, it's called Turquotic. Turquotic. Oh, I can't speak y'all. This is from Mac and I spoke of this perfume. I just picked it up probably the beginning of July and y'all. <sighs> I have not stopped spraying this perfume. I have not stopped spraying this, spraying this perfume. This is hands down one of my favorite scents for the summer. Um, I'm probably going to wear this bottle out and probably will have to re-up again before fall just so I can have it for next season. Just in case, you know, they try to pull the rug off from under me and, you know, retire this fragrance. But I love this fragrance. It smells so good, so fresh, so clean. It is the perfect scent for the summer. Now, if you know me... And if you are a returning subscriber, then you know you would have seen that perfume. We would have talked about it in another video. And I love fragrances, anything that smells good. So I was in Sephora because I was picking up some of the other items. And of course I ended up in the perfume section and I picked up two fragrances. The first one is by Killian. The box says, let's settle this argument like adults in the bedroom naked and it's a perfume. And I got a sample because when I am new to a fragrance, I do not invest in the big bottle. I want to get a sample, bring it home and see how it works with my body chemistry. And this one is sexy. Oh, this is sexy. This is definitely a fall fragrance. I think it's a fall fragrance. I could carry it off in the summertime too, but hands down the fall fragrance. This is what the bottle looks like. This smells so, so yummy. You can see the product in here a little bit right here. And I will be purchasing the large bottle of this one. And this is by Killian. The next perfume that I got and I am loving, and mind you, I rotate perfumes. I wear perfume to bed, not, not, you know, just body lotion. I will get one of these good bottles and spray all over myself and go to sleep in it. That's just my zhuzh. So the other one that I picked up in this one, y'all, is probably my fave of all of the new fragrances that I got for spring, summer. This is by Clean, Clean Reserve, and it's the Skin Reserve Blend. The box looks like this. Oh, there you go. And this is what the bottle looks like here. And I love the fact that it's clear because I could just see my product. Oh, my God. Oh. This smells so good, y'all. So, 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 so good. I wore this last night to bed. I'm just putting a little bit more on because we're talking about it. This one is fruity. That one has a little musk in it. So it's a little bit heavy and it has a little spice in the background. We're not going to discuss notes because you guys will be seeing uh, the bigger bottles in an upcoming video because I have a couple of new fragrances that I want to talk about. So, and these will probably be included in that. But this one smells really sweet, clean, not overly sweet, not childlike sweet, very sexy, very clean, very elegant. It just have a hint of powder to it. It just smells so good and I'm loving this. Cannot put it out. I'm probably going to use this bottle up before I go re-up. And I need to get a bigger bottle sooner than later. So the next category that we're going to talk about is makeup. And I'm wearing all of these three items today. So it's particularly the complexion. I have been hearing a lot about Pat McGrath Labs. It's the Skin Fetish Subline Perfection Foundation. Yeah, baby. I have it on right now. And when I say this color, and I'm in the color medium deep 27. It matches my complexion to a T, but this is what the bottle looks like. 
Pick this up at Sephora. I am hands down loving this. I have been wearing this very, very, very often. I'm loving the way it looks on my face. Right now, I'm, you know, I might look a little... Well, I did put highlight on. I just love this. I don't know what it is. I just... I just love this foundation. I really do. And it was a tough one to decide which one I was going to put in the video because I did pick up a Fenty item. But hands down, this one is the one that I was like, we have to feature this one because this one is, I'm in love with this. This is a really good buy for me. Um, I also picked up this Hourglass stick and I don't have a box. So unfortunately, oh, I'm in the cover chestnut. I was about to say, I didn't know what color I was. And it cranks up like this. And this is the color. I use this as a contour stick. I have it on right now. Even though it is like a foundation, I still use it as a contour stick. The packaging is super cute. I am loving this. And again, I pretty much only wear makeup if I'm filming or if I go out, which is not that often because here in LA, we still have restrictions and you know, COVID and the Delta variant is real, real. And I'm not trying to be friends with neither one. So I don't go out often in a full face of makeup, but I will use my products to film in and I am loving it. I filmed three videos already. And this is what she's looking like. Super cute. Love it. So the next item that I picked up is Anastasia Beverly Hills. And it's this blush trio. And it's called Peachy Love. So this is what the packaging is looking like. And this is what the products look like. I'm wearing all three right now. Super pretty. Peach on melanin skin is a vibe. She's giving me what she's supposed to give, like, hands down, I love it. Um, the compact also have a mirror in it, so you can travel with this if you need, drop it in your purse, but definitely a good buy for the summer. Love, love, love this. Love it. So we're moving right along. We only have two more categories to go, probably about seven items, and we're going to jump right into skincare because you can't have a beat if your face is beat. You catch me? So, we're going to talk about some skincare. So, um, I use a dermatology grade face wash because for a while my skin was just acting disrespectful. And I'm not prone to acne, so my dermatologist wanted me to be on a particular regimen. But since then, and I've cleared up all of the breakouts that I was having, um, they were kind of like hormonal breakouts, but it was so much. Um, I've been incorporating, you know, over-the-counter items, and we're going to start with a wash. So this one is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Perf Perfecting Cleansing Gel. And this is really good. And this is for all skin types. Um, soap and sulfate free it is. And the bottle looks like this. You can use this morning and night. And I'm an oily girl. So this does not dry your skin out for those that are oily and may be concerned about using it twice a day. But it really works and it really works well. I really like Dr. Gross items i'm currently using the peel um i mentioned that before i think i was just doing an unboxing on one of my videos the peel works really really well however i haven't been using it consistently long enough to really include it yet but i'm on that trend right now so we might be talking about that in the august favorites so the next item that i picked up is an oldie but a goodie and this is the mac mineralized volcanic ash ash exfoliator and it looks like this when i was in palm springs i picked this up because i hadn't used it in so long and i was in there looking for that perfume the the turquoise one and i was like why not let me just re-up on this this is an exfoliator you put it in your hands it is black when you put it on you massage it and it helps get rid of the dead skin cells and this is a really really good mask to use i think it's probably one of my um not mask and uh, exfoliator um, I think it's probably one of my favorite exfoliators. So you definitely need to go pick that up. Let's stay in the trend of exfoliation. And this is by the brand The Ordinary. It's the Niacinamide plus Zinc. I love this. And y'all, believe it or not, I find myself putting some of this like in my hand cream and stuff like that. You know, because obviously what you do to your face, you do to your neck. But then I also do it to my hands as well. And I'll put it in my lotions if I'm wearing shorts and things of that nature to try to keep, you know, my legs looking good. But this is really, really, really good and very inexpensive but effective. Um, I think this was $7 and I picked this up from Ulta. The Dr. Gross... 
um, face wash, the cleansing gel, I got that from Sephora. And I'll make sure that all of these items is listed below too for you guys. So the next item that I picked up, I got it in a sample size because I had never used the product. So I wanted to see what it's about. But this is one of the one items that I'm going to go back and get the large size of. And it is the Fenty Skin uh, Fat Water is what it's called. It's a, pore, it's a pore cleansing toner. This is the small bottle. But I really like this. And I'll use witch hazel. I'm not necessarily particular on my toner as long as I use a toner. I will use witch hazel and be okay with this. But for Fenty, I'm not mad at this, Rihanna. I really like this. Now, I haven't tried her. I haven't tried the moisturizer, which is popping right now. I want to get my hands on that. And I have not tried her... Um, Anything else from her line, I haven't tried like the cleanser, um, the moisturizer, I haven't tried anything else. This is the first item that I have tried and she does have an SPF. I have the small FPS and I want to say I have a small moisturizer, I'm not, I don't remember because it came in the trio, but this is really, really good. I really like this. So the next item is something that I recently spoke about. It's the Kodaly Beauty Elixir and it's smoothing and it's glowing. For your complexion and it comes in a spray bottle like this i like this it's very refreshing <clears throat> it's good for putting it under your makeup you can spray it over your makeup you can use this without makeup if you just want to look like you are just glowing from within um i'm an oily girl i don't find that it makes me more oily than i already am which is a good thing for us because if you look close enough you'll see the oils in it it kind of separates you just have to shake it up really good but as you know even as an oily girl we need moisture we need moisturizer and some of us need um a little bit of um oily moisturizer because a lot of the reason why our skin is oily is because it's dehydrated so don't shy away from moisture or any oils in fact you should use a oil maybe once a week if you're doing like a skincare day put some oil on or if you're in the house just sit with the oil on your face you'll be surprised how the reduction of oil on a day-to-day -day basis will decrease just by simply doing that one step because again just because we oily don't stray away from oil-based products i mean obviously do what works for you but i'm oily all over and this does not irritate my skin so make sure you guys go pick that up and check that out the last skincare item that I have is by how do you guys say this Laneige but it's the moisture cream it comes in a jar like this and it looks like this you see it's almost empty so I have to get another one of these really really good this again is not one of those items that um, it's too heavy for my skin. I'm using this in the summertime. I have certain products I use in the summer versus the winter here in LA. We don't really get cold, cold. Um, we have summer year round, but I do try to change up slightly because even though the months are, the colder months is not extremely cold. I still like something a little bit more heavier. This is perfect for the summer. Again, if you're an oily girl, if you are a dry girl, you can use this too. Like if you have dry skin, you can use this too, but this is super good as well. I picked up the Kodaly and this moisturizer from Sephora. So the last three items I'm going to talk about is skincare and the first one is this Nivea Breathable Nourishing Body Lotion. It's in Tropical Breeze. Y'all. So I used the regular one in the colder months and I was looking for a lotion that was lighter in the summertime and this is where it's at. This is actually empty. I have to go get another one. When I'm done here I'm going to Target. Pick you up one. This is super super good. It's very lightweight. It um, is deep moisturizing and nourishing and it's a heavy barrier without leaving a heavy barrier and it's soft and smooth and it smells really good. It's not over saturated. It's not loud at all, but it definitely smells fresh. But this is a really good lotion to use during the summertime or the hotter months. I highly recommend this. Pick this up from Target. Well, the last body item that I'm going to talk about is the Olay Nighttime Rinse Off Body Moisturizer. I say no more. Ladies, shaving, popping out the shower, you should be rubbing this on. Your body will be glistening. You'll look like, mm, 
It has oil base in it. It's super good. I love using this, especially after I shave and everything, because your body just feels so moisturized and so good and so soft and so supple. Still put on your lotion, even though this is kind of like a barrier for that. And I promise you, you won't look dry or ashy when you get out the shower after you use this. You, you do what you're going to do. You put this on and then you rinse it off. And then when you get out, it's like you just lather it down with lotion, but directly out of the shower. But this is super good and it's by Olay. Target. The last item that I'm going to talk about, I picked this up from Amazon and it's called the Q, the QQO. I don't know how to say that word. We're not going to butcher that. But it's a cuticle oil. It looks like this. And I use this on my hands and my feet when I go get pedicures. I take it with me, and this is really, really good. Now, you can use lotion. I like taking this extra step because my hands get, my cuticles get really dry, and this is really good. I'm still looking for another. Um, I read the reviews on this, and this actually had good reviews, but I found this on Amazon. Five bucks, six bucks, and you see how much I have left. So you don't have to use a lot. I'm telling you guys, I shop and I'll be finding some gems. So I'm going to start sharing my gems with you guys. But that is it for all the items that I am loving for this month or the month of July rather. And let me know if you guys pick up any of these items. Sound off in the description box or the comments below. And all of these items will be listed in the description box below. So that is it. If you guys made it to the end of this video, thank you. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss an update load and welcome to the family make sure that you join and i will catch you guys in my next upload bye